Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's been a pretty strenuous and painful weekend, hasn't it? But I've done my best to come up with five things that we have learnt from the past weekend. Number one, John Terry has played his last game for Chelsea Football Club. It pains me to say that to you. The saying the sentence out loud makes me realise quite how torturous it is. It's a terrible way for him to end his career, but the solace I can take is that his last significant contribution was stopping Tottenham winning the league. I pray that we can do something about this. I really hope that the board come to their senses. He has to stay at the club. If you know, Let's just take it simply on footballing reasons. He is far and away the best defender at the club. We need him there. We need him for next season. Conte needs his stability and his presence. I just really hope that it's overturned. But as things stand, John Terry has played his last moments for Chelsea Football Club. Number two, Gus Hiddink lacks the motivational skills that are required at this level. Gus Hiddink could not motivate that team. It was a nothing fixture for us. It meant the world to Sunderland. Of course it did. But our team were playing like it didn't mean anything to them. The previous week when we played Tottenham at home, the fans made sure that the players knew what it meant. The fans motivated the players. When it was down to the manager, the players did not look up for it. The commitment wasn't there, the desire wasn't there, the will wasn't there, and Sunderland were worthy winners in the end. It really wasn't good enough, and I really hope that Conte can come in and sort it out, because Gus Hiddink does not have what it takes to motivate these players. Number three is Bubba Rahman. Now, I like Bubba Rahman, and I really want him to do well. Whenever I see him in a Chelsea shirt, I'm imploring him to play well and have a good game, and it has happened. He is a good player. However, he did not look good enough against Sunderland. And in the upper tier there, he got a lot of stick with that goal that came down their right-hand side. I think that Bubba Rama really does need to concentrate and focus because at the moment, it doesn't look like he is, he's adapted to the English game well. I expect him to have a big summer. And I think that hopefully, you know, with Conte coming in and Conte's desire to play full-backs and wing-backs, it could be Bubba Rama's year. But he needs to focus and really does need to have a really good and productive summer. Number four is concentration. Now, that team did not have enough concentration in them. It's a basic rule of football. When I was a kid learning to play the game, your manager would always tell you, concentrate. You are most vulnerable to concede a goal when you have just conceded a goal. And the fact that they scored and immediately scored again really isn't good enough. We need players to be switched on 100% of the time. And the fact that they, you know, switching off and conceding goals like that really isn't good enough. It has to stem from the top. Hiddink needs to instill in these players that they are switched on and concentrating for 90 minutes. Number five on this list of things that we learned this weekend is Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte really does have his work cut out. We need him to come in. We want him to have a great summer with Italy and then come in and enforce the rules that Hiddink isn't doing. Um, I think that these players are obviously great. You know, they were champions, but there is something missing. And Antonio Conte really is going to have his work cut out. But I think he's the man to do it. We can have a big summer in the transfer market. We can get this team back to where they belong. And that is fighting for the Premier League. That concludes it. They are my five things that we learned from this weekend. If you enjoyed this strand, will you do me a favour? Just give it a thumbs up just so I can monitor if people like this new thing. It's a bit innovative. Um, and yeah, let me know. Comment below. Let me know your things. What did you learn about Chelsea Football Club this weekend? Go on, you blows. Charlie Skillen is going to kill me. He's been at King's Cross for half an hour already. 